Hello and welcome to another video where this time we're going to take a look at a picture that after I downloaded it I thought why did I take it? It's just a bit of a crowded beach scene but the more I looked at it the more I thought perhaps we could do something just a little bit different with this image. But we're going to start off by correcting the picture because looking at it, it looks rather flat, it looks rather dull. So we're going to start off using adjustment layers. So over to the layers panel, it's this little half black, half white icon. Let's click on this. We're going to start off with levels. Now, what is this showing us? Well, this histogram is showing us a map of all the pixels making up this image. And as we can see, these are the highlights in this area here, the lighter tones. These are the grays, the mid-tones in this area here. And as we can see, this is where the bulk of these pixels are stacked up in. No wonder it's looking rather flat. So let's start off with the lighter slider here. We're going to move this inwards. But how much do you move it inwards by? Well, if you press and hold down Alt or Option, press, hold down Alt or Option, you can see the screen turns black, got a little bit of uh, reds, a few blues there. We're going to move it in. Now, what you want to avoid is solid white. Now, if I just take it to this region here, you can see that umbrella, at least I think it is, yeah, showing us the whites there. So I'm going to back it up, just taking it to this sort of region here. Just a few of the lighter blues, a little bit of white. They're not going to worry too much. Yes, it was that umbrella. OK, let's take a look at the darker pixels here, the blacks. Once again, hold down that Alt or Option key, click on it. This time the screen turns white. Now, as we move it in, you can see some colors beginning to appear. Now, this time it is the solid black. That is what you want to avoid because that is where it's going to be clipped in the black. Once again, there'll be no pixel detail. So I'm going to back this up. We're going to take it to this region. That should be OK there. Right, head into the center slider. Now clicking on this one, no need to press any older options. It won't do anything, but moving it in, we're going to brighten up the entire image. We're going to take it to, let's go to this sort of region there. It looks pretty good. And if you just take a look, we have now gone from this to this, starting to look better apart from those colors. So let's head back up to an adjustment layer. We're going to come down to hue saturation. Take a look at the levels panel. As soon as I click on hue saturation, it changes to hue saturation. Right, let's move this over. Let's increase the saturation. This is under channel master, so it's for all of the colors. That will do nicely where we have it. We've got plus 20. OK, the sand. Let's give the sand a little bit more color. Let's head down to yellow. We're going to pick up the eyedropper tool. This will just allow us to target the color of yellow a little bit further. Keep an eye on these here because as I click down, notice the way that jumps across. This is the color that we've now targeted. As you move it around, you can see there that's moving around as well. Coming to the saturation slider, moving it over. And as I'm moving it over, look at the reds. Look at the colors there coming through as well. No surprising. This is the targeted color. It then feathers out. You can see it feathers out into the red. It feathers out in this direction into the yellows, the greens here. So what I'm going to do is come to this slider. We're going to move this in. So I'm going to take it out of the reds. You'll notice that red there just dropping down very slightly. Yellows, greens, not going to worry about that. But I'm going to drop this down into the sensible realms, this area here. That looks better like that. Just switching this off and on. You can see the difference that's making to the image. But now I want to give the image a bit of warmth. I know it's a hot sunny day, but I want to warm things up even further. So coming back up to an adjustment layer, down to photo filter. Once again, that panel has changed. It is now photo filter, warming filter 85. I always think it looks a little bit on the false side. So we're going to change it. I don't like the LAB either. My favorite is this one here. It looks far more natural. Is warming filter 81. We can now drop the opacity down. Don't forget it is an adjustment layer, which gives us the individual layers. So I can drop this, the opacity down on this layer. I'm going to take it just so it blends in, looking at the image and just moving my mouse or pen across there. That looks good like that. And if I just switch this off and on, you can see the difference that makes. OK, let's close down this panel. Next, let's come to the background layer. This is now our highlighted layer. I'm going to come over to the little eye icon. I'm going to press and hold down Alt or Option. Click on the eye icon. You can see there's a before, there's the after. 
looking pretty good. Now for the next stage, the idea I had came from these figures here in particular, and I thought, how about giving the image a little bit of a Lowry look? And what I mean by Lowry is from the famous British painter, I think it was Alice Lowry, wasn't it? It was his initials, who painted matchstick men and matchstick cats and dogs. Okay, no cats and dogs were on a beach. So to start off with, to the background layer, I'm going to use Command J, Control J. Next, we need to zoom out a little bit because we need to give ourselves a bit more space. I've got the hand tool, so all I need to do is press Alt or Option. But if you've got any other tool from the toolbox, all you need to do is press the space bar. Now press and hold down Alt or Option. So hold down space bar, Alt or Option. There it is, there's your zooming out tool. Just gonna zoom out to this sort of area here. Right, let's head up to Image, Transform, Free transform, command T, control T is the shortcut. And you can see grab handles to each of the corners, top, bottom, as well as the two sides. We're gonna to come to the top grab handle. I'm gonna lift this up. We're gonna stretch the image up. And as I'm stretching it up, you can see that Lowry effect beginning to take place with these uh, characters on the beach, taking it into this region here, and there it is. Now at this stage, my grab handles have disappeared. Now what if you want to take it a little bit further? Well, all you need to do is use Command-0, Control-0, and there it is. We can now see the grab handles. Just going to take it there. That will do nicely. Bring in my cursor. It's inside the framework. So long as you can see that black arrow head, you can double-click or click on the green tick. That is now going to apply it, and you're thinking, great. It's only got a bit of the image. Well, if you come up to Image, Resize, Reveal All, there it is using command zero control zero to go to fit on screen we're now going to duplicate this layer again so i'm going to use command j control j once more so we've now got background copy two but we're going to double click i'm going to call this uh, right i'm going to call this one guess what yes we're going to call this one left so click on the top layer what we're now going to do is we're going to come to image rotate we're gonna come down and we're gonna use flip layer horizontal. Make sure you select this one. Do not use flip horizontal. This will flip the entire document, the, all the layers horizontally. This one is just going to flip the layer. When you click on it, over it goes. Right, let's pick up the move tool. Now with the move tool, I'm gonna to click and I'm gonna move it. And as you can see, you can move it and it goes all around the place. But if you hold down shift on the keyboard, it holds it right on the horizontal, gonna pull it right out just off the screen as we did before. Image, resize, reveal all. That was my idea to create a little bit of a pattern picture out of our image. But we're not gonna stop there because now if we look around, we've got red, blue, we've got all the colors here directly opposite. How about changing the colors on one side of the image? Well, we can do that by once again using an adjustment layer. Now, if we come down to hue saturation, this time when the panel opens, I'm going to click on this little icon here, this little square with this uh, bent arrow. And if you click on it, it has now clipped it to this layer. Now, this means that we're only going to work on the right hand side. These adjustment layers here, they work on the entire document. And you can see just how valuable adjustment layers are. So even though we've done all of that stretching, all that duplicating, it is still working on the entire document. This hue saturation though is just on the right hand side. Okay, let's change some of the colors. So I'm gonna to come to the master. Let's go to red. Let's drop our, oh, first of all, pick up our eyedropper tool. Got ahead of myself. Right, let's click down on this one here and notice where those didn't jump around much because we are on the red. Right, come into hue. I'm gonna move hue across. We're gonna take hue into this region here, just backing it up. I think orange looks pretty good, but we're affecting the colors in the, the yellows here in the sand. So I'm gonna click on this slider. We're gonna move this in, that's better. So we're narrowing down that color range that we're working on. There, looking good like that. Right, let's have a look at the, uh, let's go for blues. You can select any colors you want. I'm gonna go for blue. I've got the eyedropper tool, so I'm just gonna come out to this region here. Let's pick on this little tent, clicking on it. You can see the way these jumped across. Coming up to the hue slider, I'm gonna move it over very, very slightly to the left. I just want to change the color subtly there. That will do nicely. 
what I'm trying to do is, even though it's a flipped image, I want to make it look a little bit different on one side, color wise. That looks good like that. So let's close this down out of the way. A very quick run through. This is what we started off with using Command Zero, Control Zero to go to fit on screen. This image, yes, I said when I took it, I thought, why? And now we end up with something like this. We're in a bit closer, so we can zoom through it. Looking pretty good like that. Right clicking, let's go for a black background. Pressing tab on the keyboard. Go on, give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe. Plenty more videos to come. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.